The Kardashian family has been blasted as ridiculous for borrowing $132 million in loans for their mansions despite being billionaires. Like, this is the thing that I don't really understand about a lot of these celebrities. Is like, you have so much money. What is the purpose of going into debt, making payments, having to deal with all this nonsense, all this headache for what? Just so that you could try to make a little bit extra profit, right, every year? It's like, how absurd is that? Why not just, like, buy these mansions in cash and literally never stress about them ever again? Not care about payments, not care about nothing. Like, I don't understand why they go down this route. So the U.S. Sun previously learned that Kim and her famous sisters had taken out massive home loans on their mega mansions, which run to $132 million combined. And can you even, like, imagine what type of payment that is per month? Ugh. Last month, we revealed Kim had taken out a $48 million mortgage on the $70 million Malibu property she bought in September, which is undergoing a big renovation. But this is just the tip of the iceberg as sisters Courtney, Kylie, and Kendall Jenner have also laid in their luxury homes with vast debt, as has mom Chris. In total, the family quintet, quintet has borrowed $132 million, according to property records seen by the U.S. Sun. And discussing the revelation on Reddit, one person said, if they're so loaded, why pay millions of dollars worth of cash emojis on a home plus interest? And here's the thing, right? Like, I understand some people's reasoning like, oh, if we could borrow money at like 2%, well, why not? Because we can make our money work for us and you know, take a profit because, you know, if you just stick that into the S&P 500, that averages about 10%, so 2% loan for, like, payments and 10% return on S&P 500, 8% difference, that's a good amount of profit, right? So, like, numbers-wise, it might make sense, but it's not like they're renting these properties out. They just own them, right? Like, they just have them. And they do it for their their shows and all that kind of stuff, right? But it's like, imagine you were getting into millions of dollars in debt for things that are not making you any money at all. Makes no sense. So if they were anything they claimed to be, they could afford to pay off their homes since they're billionaires, they added. Other people were quick to comment on the thread and share their thoughts on the reasons behind it. I'm sure it was financially in their best interest, but we don't know enough about it to understand, one person argued. A second person claimed, that's what rich people do. They borrow against their assets. You can only get a loan of that amount if you're loaded. And again, like I understand the financial thinking of it, like the numbers-wise of thinking it. But to me, as just like a human being, wouldn't you like to wake up in a mansion that you own where you don't got to worry about the payments for that mansion. Because to me, I've seen too many stories of people who have built mansions worth millions of dollars, and then they pass away, and their partner has no way of affording the mortgage payment of those mansions. Like, they're completely screwed. So, to me, I just like the freedom aspect. A third person pointed out, millionaires and billionaires take loans on all big investments so they can write it off. Nothing to do with if they can afford it or not. And that is true. Like, a lot of billionaires actually do this. Like, more billionaires than millionaires do this. Because, basically, a lot of super wealthy individuals like the idea of pretty much never paying taxes. And one of the ways to do that is to not actually take any income, is to basically live off of loans that you take out off of the assets that you own. Now, personally, I don't like that method. I feel like things can go so wrong so quickly, but some people do that. 
Let's see, a fourth Reddit user added, I think they get a ton of tax breaks if I'm not mistaken. Taking out $132 million in cash is insane when you can have a mortgage and avoid taxes. I could be wrong though. Yeah, I mean the main thing for this is probably taxes. Another claim, because you can have your interest deducted on your salary when it's a commercial mortgage because they work there. LMAO. Someone else fumed in a now deleted comment, the whole family is ridiculous, I can't, out of touch, and unnecessary. The thing is, it's like, they make so much money because they are completely ridiculous. They get all this attention, they get all these clicks all over the place because they're so ridiculous. A different person mocked, how much do they pay to have people boast about them, I wonder. So Chris's property portfolio, while filing show that Chris paid for her most recent $20 million home in Hidden Hills outright, props to her, the same can't be said for the house she bought in 2010 for $4 million, which was her long-term place for years, and featured heavily on keeping up with the Kardashians. The Momager borrowed $2.4 million in October 2015 and $2.11 million in March 2018, but just a few months later, Chris went big on the borrowing. Chris first of all took out a loan for $7.25 million in August 2018, but the following month, that was superseded by a new agreement for a whopping $40 million loan through the financial company Crosswind Venture Fund, which is 10 times more than what she paid for the house. Then in January 2019, she borrowed $5.2 million and $5.25 million in June of that year, according to property records. As most celebrities want to keep their identity secret, their business manager is usually the trustee. So in this case, it's Lester Nispel, who for years has been the Kardashians' money man. It's worth noting that property records don't show whether a deed of trust has been paid back, so Chris may have repaid some of the loans by March 2023. I don't know. Again, I just find this so weird, celebrities doing this. Like, I just, to me, personally, I just would not want the stress. Now, of course, they have a money man that probably manages the whole thing, but it's like, ugh, Giving other people so much power over your financial life just sounds disgusting to me. Feel free to give your thoughts. If you want to learn how to get out of debt and learn how I got out of debt and grew my net worth, go down below. Because to me, the best way to grow your net worth is to get out of debt and start putting money towards investments, buying a home, etc. Because I like the freedom of not having to worry about bills debt payments, credit card bills, etc. Because that sounds like hell to me.